Susan. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for Inside of Kula's new segment, Rapid Fire Questions, the Ontario Library World's lower budget version to Vogue's 73 questions. <laughs> Let's hop right in. What is your favorite emoji? Oh, I like, uh, it's, it's a tie. I like grimacing and flushed, and I like to use them together. Oh, <laughs> a good combo. <laughs> Uh, what is your favorite library? Oh, oh, this feels, I'm gonna have to go with Robarts because that's who employs me right now. And also it's so big. It is big and beautiful and you're repping the brand, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite children's book? Oh, my favorite children's book. It's our a favorite children's book because it was a favorite, not of mine when I was a child, but of my sister's. Um, it was called Red is Best. Okay, very fun. And um, totally unrelated, coffee or tea? Coffee. Okay, how many cups a day? Cool. I have a limit now. I am now only allowed to have um, like two, maximum four, and I have to stop by noon because I got myself into an eight cups of day place uh, in grad school and that was not good for me. So <laughs> I think I'm four. <laughs> things that you learn in grad school other than course content, right? <laughs> An important lesson from grad school. <laughs> Who is your favorite character from a book? Character from a book? Like, a, does it have to be a fictional character? Uh, this doesn't have to be. <laughs> this is a new series, so uh, yeah, yeah. Else we go. I'm defining your terms here. Uh, so when I'm not in a library, I work in the theater a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna interpret book not as necessarily as novel, but I will include plays, and I'm going to use a fictionalized version of a real person. Um, and I'm gonna say. Queen Margaret, uh, who is Margaret Anjou in the Shakespeare, Henry VI plays and Richard III. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to look into that now. <laughs> okay, um, so which would you prefer, board games or video games? Board games. And what is your favorite board game? Ticket to Ride. Oh, that's, such a, that's a really fun one. Good one. <laughs> Pulling out of the back pocket, okay. Uh, what are you currently reading? What am I currently reading? Oh, I'm rereading Orlando by Virginia Woolf for my book club. Oh, I love that. And for a book club too, that's really fun. I think yeah. that um, Orlando is super undervalued and the like low key best Wolf book. That's just our opinion maybe, but. <laughs> I, I recommended it to my book club because it's the, it's the piece, one of the works of literature that I kept returning to at the beginning of the pandemic because of that weird suspension from normal time that happens when the Thames is frozen. And I think I was trying to think of like, what's a positive version of suspension from, from normal time? That's a really nice like way to think of that actually. And now I am also tempted to pull that out just to even like, not even to reread the whole thing because that's a commitment, but <laughs> but to like to kind of reimmerse myself in that perspective. If you weren't working in a library, what would you be doing? I would be working in a theater, hopefully as a dramaturg. <laughs> You've alluded to that. Okay, I'm noticing a trend. Where will you travel when we can travel safely again? Um, my best friend lives in Vienna and I will go back to see her. Oh, that sounds so lovely. And to see a friend as well, even better. Yeah. What would your ideal office look like? Lots of natural light um, and a door that is open most of the time. Oh, yes. Get that airflow in and don't feel like you're trapped in a jail. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so that the people, I can have access to the people. <laughs> the yeah. thing I miss the most working from home is being around lots of people all the time. So, okay. But I don't miss the fluorescent lights, not at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, it's interesting because Melanie also said um, natural light. That was the first thing she said, too. So, <laughs> okay. Um, cats or dogs? Cats. Oh, that's nice. What is your least favorite library related stereotype? Uh, the shushing. It's probably the shushing. <laughs> okay, yes, that's a good one. <laughs> that comes immediately to mind. Uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give to new grads? Don't think of yourself as only being able to do one thing. There are things that you 
have experience with that are not directly related to what you think of as your career trajectory that will uh, influence your path. And you'll be happier if you embrace things because you like doing them than if you embrace them because you think they're going to lead to a good job. Yes, that's great advice. Retweet. <laughs> <laughs> Underscore bold. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to um, switch into some more personal questions now. <laughs> Not too personal. After likely stalking you on Twitter, I couldn't help but notice your love of hashtag DFF or yes. initiated hashtag drunk feminist films. So let's yes. dig, dig into some hashtag DFF rapid fire questions. <laughs> All right. So what is the best drunk feminist film? I think that, uh, um, oh, what's it called? Cruel Intentions was an excellent cinematic experience uh, for the DFF, yeah. Okay, I can I can only begin to imagine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> With hundreds, hundreds of, people playing the kazoo. So that's making kazoo sounds at the end. So wow. it's an experience. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see, I've heard of drunk feminist films before, but I, I've never been to a screening. And so I love hearing these kind of like, you know, peek behind the curtains to use um, a theater metaphor. <laughs> okay. So um, what is your favorite drink to enjoy during a screening? Uh, they always have thematic drinks, so I always pick the uh, the the most clever name, really. We're we're a fan of the pun. Yeah, that's what. Yes, I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And my last question: uh, What is the most infuriating, you know, like throw something at the screen trope? I mean, I think it varies by genre. Each, each sort of genre has its own trope, but I think anything that makes female characters deny their own age agency is more more infuriating than other people making assumptions about them. Okay, yes, I agree. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you for playing along and um, we'll see you on Twitter for the next Strong Feminist Film, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for thanks for inviting me. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.